drop is good news for South Florida's road to reopening. While numbers aren't quite yet where they need to be, there is progress with more reopenings, particularly for one-hearted industry local restaurants. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he may be ready to allow restaurants to once open again their dining rooms. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live in Coral Gables to explain. Brooke, good morning. Hey, Maribel, good morning. Like you said, this could really help those restaurants, many of which have already told us having only the option for outdoor dining has greatly impacted their bottom line, but the change not set in stone just yet. Restaurants in Miami-Dade County may soon allow people inside at a reduced capacity once again. If a county order comes down next week, the owner of Zach the Baker in Miami's Wynwood neighborhood says he doesn't know if he'll move quickly to make changes. Will you partake in it or will you just keep the outdoor? We'll partake, but we, that's a personal decision. We need to sit down with our team and we need to understand what does it mean for us to make this pivot. Owner Zach Stern has been allowed to set up tables and chairs outside. We talked to him right before his relatively new falafel pop-up during the evening started. This space is normally used for street parking. 15 restaurants in Wynwood have done this so far. It's the first area in the city of Miami to expand outdoor seating. It's to allow them to gain uh, revenue during this time, you know, that right now it's limited. What they're trying to do is just break even. Um, which is the hard part. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez says dine-in at 50% capacity may start again next week. If it does, you still won't be able to stay out late. The curfew still stays at 10 o'clock. We don't want people to have parties, etc. That's social gatherings. That's where the, the problem uh, is occurring. As of Monday, the county saw a two-week average positivity rate around 10.6%, getting close to single digits for the first time in months. Broward County has a two-week average of 7.2 percent. Broward leaders have always allowed dine-in eating at a reduced capacity after the shutdown. Last week, restaurants were then allowed to stay open an extra hour until 11 p.m. I worked so hard for so little money in your life. As for Stern, he says he wants his employees and customers to stay safe. He didn't allow dine-in when the county mayor initially approved it after the shutdown ended in May. Also, Stern says he likes the expansion outside and hopes it can be something permanent in the new normal. So Maribel, we don't have an exact date for when this change could happen. Again, we expect to see it next week, but Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says he still wants to speak with medical experts. I'm live in Coral Gables, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.